Morgen Tahu Maga, everybody. Tuesday morning on the farm slash field. Jeez, every time you guys see Mojo, he's sleeping. He's got a new play friend, uh, B-Log. Him and B-Log been running around all morning. The wife's got three banana breads in the oven. Smelling good. They're working on the door frame today. Got everything taped up here. What's well, taking so long on these doors? <clears throat> Show you guys a pig pan. Come along. Get two new teepees in. I'm gonna put that up maybe later today. Beautiful day out. I was up at like quarter to five this morning. Just sat outside. It's just a nice breeze. And cool. They came and harvested. Uh, they, they hire a guy to cut. They come with these big long bamboo sticks and cut down the, cut down the uh, coconuts. So they came today. So I've been moving all my roosters around all morning so they don't get hit by falling coconuts. Uh, the wife made a video. I'll have her put it in right now. Good morning, guys. <laughs> Our coconut is ready for Copra. Thank you, honey, come down. Very dangerous job. We have to move our roosters so we won't get hit by the coconut. And we are baying. How do you say that? We are worried about our windows also. Oh no. Oops. Oh. So yeah. Did all the coconuts, the chai ramel, and their family will be making copra out of all these. See them all up the ditch here. The guys that cut them down said they got a lot. But we don't take any money for these. Just let the family have them. Just as long as they clean everything up. Make a little bit of money. Got the second tarp put up today here in the pull it coop. So they'll have more shade and more protection from the rain. And down here to the pig pen. Really nice today. You know, when I first moved here, I was like, oh, I'm gonna be doing this and that and I'll be working all day. <laughs> I'll tell you what, guys. You can probably only work like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how these guys work, but I can only put in maybe four hours a day. You know, early in the morning, a couple hours, and then the afternoon, a couple hours. Because the sun here is hot. It gets hot here. But seeds uh, for the tomatoes have sprouted up, so... The last is going to bring over the carabao again. They need to turn this soil one more time, I guess, before we start planting. So hopefully it... I don't know. I would have rather just kept it how it was and dig holes. This is kind of rough now. See, yeah, there's a pig pen here. Is that gonna be the door right there? Yeah. Okay, this isn't set up anything how I was thinking. So three individual pens. So you have a sow in each pen. 
and they're in a uh, like a metal frame cage, so they can't move around much. Number two, and then the third one. And then when they have piglets, this is where I put them here. And this, this is gonna be a fattening pen. Let's see if they can make this bigger. It's kind of small. So many block we have left. Not a whole lot. It's 600 pieces. So hopefully we'll be finished, finished with this by the end of the week. And, uh, I don't know. I wanted to make it really nice, but the wife says, oh, it's just pig pens. So she's using the leftover wood from the build and she's getting the cheap, the cheap roof that if a, if a mango falls on, it probably goes through. It's like tin foil, but oh well. Let her do her thing, and then when I have to replace everything in four or five months, I'll tell her, told you so. All right, guys. It's a Tuesday morning update. Things are going good here. It's a beautiful day. Temperature is cool. The sun is not blazing. So I'm going to try to get a couple of little projects done today. All right, guys. We'll tune in with you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. See ya. Later.